So who remembers Thunderbirds? Produced by Jerry and Sylvia Anderson. Television series about international rescue. An organisation with uh, what we thought as kids in 90... Well, I don't remember it from 1965. I would have only been four at the time. But Thunderbirds was uh, a very vibrant, colourful series. As you can see, making use of the colour, including Lady Penelope's Rolls Royce. This is the Matchbox version here. Um, these uh, little ships, I mean, at the time when we were kids, we thought they were cool. You know, the fact that you, there were strings on the puppets and stuff, the super marionations, as it were called, didn't really bother us that much. People are very exacting about the uh, special effects and so on nowadays. But when you look back, what what Thunderbirds had that captivated audiences back then was catch, capturing the mood of the space race. I mean, so Thunderbird 3 actually went up into space and uh, rendezvoused with their satellite. Um, so that, you know, when you're talking about a few years before the moon landing and all that, we were captivated. Obviously, submarines, shows like Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Stingray and all that, they've been around for quite a while. So we were quite... And Jacques Cousteau uh, was on TV around that time as well. So undersea exploration. Exploration was seen as an adventure. So Thunderbirds was an adventure series. It was all about the the family, the, the sons of uh, Jeff Tracy, Scott, Virgil, Allen, and all the rest, and brains, you know. Again, scientists were celebrated at the time, you know, as uh, intelligent people and people who were innovative and what have you. That's a Thunderbirds lunchbox there. It's not, not vintage, it's relatively new, about 15, 20 years old, tiny little figures. And we used to like the hover bikes. I mean, this was a way, I think, that to get around the fact that the... Uh, supermarination mannequin type puppet people uh, struggled to walk about so they invented these uh, hover bikes which were again you know we thought these were terrific uh, long before Martin McFly with his with his skateboard and all this kind of thing there were these hover bikes or jet scooters or whatever they were called jet bikes whatever and again we thought they were great fun you know we enjoyed it uh, we didn't delve too deeply into uh, into what it were all about. It's just the adventures. So 26 episodes were made of the original uh, Thunderbirds and some uh, some films, you know, movies, which the shadows were in the in the film. Certainly, I think Cliff Richards was in one of them, uh, or a, certainly a puppet um, super marionation version uh, of Cliff Richards. So yeah, they were they were uh, very much of their time. Uh, obviously, it's made a, you'll know, it's made a bit of a comeback in recent years with digital uh, special effects and what have you, it's like a digital animation. Uh, but, oh, you know, the, the another thing that we, we used to be impressed by were things like the explosions, you know, the explosions were all good. And there was the British connection, you know, as much as the Tracy family seemed to be American. Uh, Lady Penelope and Parker were English, so that were always a good connection. I've got a few... Uh, uh, Fab One Rolls Royces, um, and and again, I believe that Rolls Royce wouldn't give permission to make in the relatively new film directed by Jonathan Frakes. They wouldn't allow the Rolls Royce sort of logo to be used, which I think's a shame. I think they don't understand the legacy and the positivity. Maybe not many Thunderbirds fans buy Rolls Royces. I don't know, but there we go, Thunderbirds. Oh yes, and another thing, the music. The theme tune, da, 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 et cetera. We used to look forward to that and uh, quite exciting. Uh, so there we go, a few little Thunderbirds items that I've uh, gathered together. Little television treasures for you to see and reminisce about the series. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep in touch. Mm -hmm.